Well, welcome to Modeling Time with me, Brian Banna, and the next stage in the adventures in weathering. In this video, I'll go over um, putting on a pin wash and washes. Um, for those of you that don't know what a pin wash is, I have been asked that question, what is a pin wash? It's basically a heavily diluted color in a thinner, and then you run it down the uh, around bolt heads, rivet heads, seams, and, and such, and let the capillary action pull it along. It's not something that you spread out over the whole panel, which you could, but in this one you kind of want to highlight the details. So I'll go make a pin wash and uh, let me get the camera set up over at the bench and I'll make the pin wash. I don't know if I'm going to use the Tamiya Paneline wash. I think I might have a bottle of um, MIG or AK wash or um, make my own with uh, artist oils. I'll figure that out. In, you know before I get the video started so I'll go set the camera up over there and we'll get right to it <clears throat> all right well I found the wash that I want to use for it and it's a um, let's see where is it at is this it here it is it's a mix of the uh, I guess it's called 502 Abtalung and it's the uh, sepia and I do have like the AK Interactive um, wash for wood and I tried that it works really well I have to put it into a uh, into a little cup and then add a little bit of um, uh, odorless thinner I use this MIG odorless thinner it seems to mix up really well I have used this before and it's good for taking off wash but it doesn't um, it doesn't mix well with um, with these uh, where did I put it here we go with these oils it does mix well with with these whoop, with these oils but it doesn't seem to mix well with these but the um, MIG the MIG stuff that's what's in there right now that mixes really well with these I had with the with this stuff here I had these oils kind of separating the the pigments wouldn't break down really good and then when I put them on the model they would kind of separate like little tiny dots so but I tried the MIG stuff and it works really well so I got a whole bottle plus about a quarter bottle of this so I might order another bottle of that just for future I do have on order um, some of the AK uh, wash for Desert Africa Corps vehicles which is what I originally used on my Copper State Railway locomotives that worked really well I have some um, tracks rust and some light rust so I'll have that to work with and but mostly I'm gonna work with the um, 502 Abtalung I've got a whole bunch of it over here bunch of rusts and, and earth tones and reds and blues and greens and you know just a whole bunch of whites and dust and, and such so so I've mixed up a little bit now for mixing it at first I put the odorless thinner into the cup and then I'll add paint till I get the mixture I want and then I'll just touch a little bit to the model to see how it runs and see how the color covers and that's how I know if I have it if I have too much I'll add more thinner to it if I have too little I'll add more paint to it but right now see I did a little bit right on this panel and on this panel so you can kinda see it in the um, along the ribs there this panel is not done yet so you can see a little bit of brown in there I'm just waiting for it to dry and clean up so I'll go ahead and do some more here and this is what you call a pin wash. Pin wash, like I said, is just highlighting the, the details. So I'll mix, what I do before I put it on is I mix it up first. And with, with each application, I mix it up, get the paint suspended in the liquid. And then I'll just come in here and just touch it and let it run.
So I'll do a few of these on camera and then I'll just go ahead and and uh, get the one side done that way and let it rest. And you can see how it jumps over the uh, rib there. All right, so I'll go ahead and get the rest of this done. You see the application, just mix it, mix it up, bring it over, touch it to a joint, and let it run. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of this done. I'll let it dry and then I'll come back and, and clean it up. Alright, so I've got the um, the washes on, of course, or the pin wash on, and then and it's all dry now. You can see the uh, the uh, brown oil tide marks, or not oil, water marks, basically, along the edges here. And now it's time to clean all that up. So I've got it on the sides, I've got it on the ends, and that end, that side, and this and I kind of blotted out pretty good, but most of that will get cleaned off and just stain the decal and such, so I've got to come back to do that. So, um, one thing I noticed, and I had to pin wash this twice. When I use the wash made from the uh, Artist Oil, um, it separated. As it sat there, it separated, and the, and the light brown was up towards the top here, and then the blackness of it was down at the bottom, and it was just, it, it was really nasty looking. I don't know what happened or why it separated. So I went over it with the, uh, the AK wash, and the color stayed. So you see all this dark brown in the ribs? That's this wash, and it stayed there. So I think for now on, I'm going to be using the AK wash over the uh, uh, over for for my pin washes. Now I'll probably use these or this brand um, oil or the one that I have in the drawer of the Windsor Newton, and um, for any oil paint rendering where you just use the oil and you don't thin it out and you put it on and then you. You get some um, thinner on your brush a little bit and you just start working it in or, or however that render. I have to watch the videos on that too. Um, but I'm not going to use Artist Oils for washes. I'm, I'm going to go back to using these. I, it worked for me. I think the combination of using this and having my satin varnish on helped the, um, the wash flow well and stay where I wanted it to stay. Now, if I wanted the flatter finish, it would bleed out more, but I don't want that. I wanted it to pretty much stay. So now it's time to go in and clean up these uh, tide marks and stuff. So I put some of the, um, I put some of this, the, the odorless thinner, into a, a Tamiya bottle, and I'll use these two brushes for cleanup. So I've already started on these two panels here, on this one and this one. These ones are pretty much done. So I'll go ahead and do this panel, but I have to turn the car around to do it. So I'm going to lightly dip my brush, although it'll wick it up really fast. And then I want to get off as much of this thinner as possible. And then let me move this open bottle out of the way so I don't hit it. And then I'm going to go in here and just going to work it around. And start pulling it off. 
Now what I don't want is I don't want brush marks. So, you know, do that a little bit. Clean it off. Now you see these areas on the towel that are wet? That's where I'll clean off the brush and it'll re-moisten it just a little bit. Then when the brush gets too dry, then I'll go ahead and dip it back into the uh, thinner. What I'm doing right now is just pulling the excess paint out of the groove there, or out of the joint there. Now this joint here has too much paint in it still. This is where the artist oil, the black, separated out of it. There, I like that better. Okay. Now we'll go do this side. Now I had let this dry for about an hour. And what I do is I leave a little bit heavier buildup right up in those corners. But I do come underneath the top cord and I clean off any marks. All right, now I'll move to the next one. I'll wet the brush again. Get underneath the top cord first. Yeah, this artist oil. Well, you live, I mean, you learn. And you adapt and overcome. Now, not only do you want to get the panel, but you want to get the sides of these braces, or these uh, channels.
All right, so that takes care of these these panels up to here. I'll go ahead and get the rest of these done, and the, actually the rest of the car done, and I'll come along and show you the results. I'm going to do the same thing for all the rest of these panels. Just go in, almost no thinner on the brush, and just clean up all the watermarks, like what you see there, and, and there, and along here, and here, and, and such. Clean up all those watermarks, clean up over these decals, and uh, um, finish with the pin wash. So I'll show you that when it's all done. Well, there's a couple hours worth of work. Um, cleaning, up, <coughs> excuse me, cleaning up the car. So if I don't spit on the inside of it, there we go. Um, so that's what the car looks like now. Let me. So that has had the um, the pin wash cleaned up and uh, gotten on the insides of the ribs on both sides. Same with this side. And I'm very happy with the results so far of that. And then the ends were just roughly cleaned up. There we go. Let me get that in focus. Somewhere there's a focus. There we go. So there's one end. And there's the other end. So now I gotta let this sit. Is that inside there? I gotta let this sit and uh, let the uh, wash cure on it. The next step will be a overall dusty wash. So it'll settle on the panels and 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 such. So it'll just be basically I don't I don't soak it. I just let it wet and sit. And that will be done with the uh, this um, 502 Eptilung uh, dust. So I'll do that and let it set and uh, then blend it in. So um, right now, like I said, I'm going to let this sit for probably about a day, maybe two. I got other things to work on. And then I'll come back, put the dust on it. Actually, when I come back, I might do a different color. Um, um, chipping effect along the uh, the top cord just to give a little bit of variation to the color there and uh, I don't really want to do too much on the sides but I uh, will see I'll, I'll think about that but maybe I'll do that what I really need to do is go to um, uh, my local hobby store that carries uh, a, a good line of Vallejo uh, colors because that's what I think I need for the, the chipping effects and then get and make myself a wet palette and that way the paint will stay wet it won't dry and I'll get a finer and, and a better looking chips with my sponge with my sponge chipping so I think I might do that this weekend so I'm gonna let this set and then uh, probably Saturday morning go and get uh, a different rust color dark rust color or I could mix my own and do a little bit more chipping on the top maybe very little bit on the on the ribs here and and call that chipping done then and then I'll come back and put the um, I'll put a, a very light coat of uh, satin varnish over this just to seal it all in and then I'll put the wash on and that'll take care of, of, of that portion of it and then we'll move the pigments pigments will really make this come alive so I'm actually very, very happy with the way it's turning out. Well, as I just said, I'm really happy with the way this car is turning out. Um, uh, surprisingly, some of the weathering is going down as I planned, and the results are as I planned. That's never happened before. So hopefully I can continue that, uh, that trend. So anyway, um, I hope you'll follow me in the next video when I put down the, I guess it's called a filter and um, see how that turns out. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next video.